So we're here at Adipec talking to Martin Houston, who is vice chairman of Tellurian. Uh, first of all, hello to you. And it's been a challenging last couple of years. How is it currently going? Uh, it's going well. The industry generally, or yes, yeah. And for you at Tellurian. Yeah, it's going great at Tellurian. Actually, we're doing very well indeed. And um, you know, it has been a challenging uh, time for everybody in the energy industry, as we know. You know very low oil prices uh, just a year ago, just over a year ago. But uh, no, we're very comfortable with where we are today. And how do you see the uptake of natural gas in the future and currently and, and the transition to that for many people? Look, I think the narrative in favour of gas has, has swung in, in our favour. Um, you know, really it's gas or coal, so you know, take your pick. I mean, natural gas is the fuel of the transition. Uh, it is the fuel, fuel that accompanies hydrogen and other renewables, uh, and it is the, the backbone of a decarbonizing world. And here at Adipec, you know, which has been fantastic, by the way, to be back again, we're having those conversations, real conversations, about the, the, you know, the world of hydrocarbons on the journey to uh, decarbonizing our planet. And obviously we've just had COP26 as well, so thoughts of the discussions that came out of that? Look, I, you know, did, did, does one declare victory or, you know, is it, was it a draw? I don't know. Um, I wasn't close enough, I wasn't there. But, uh, you know, look, it, it was good to get, to get people together talking about it. You know, the more we talk about it, the more we're likely to solve the problems. Uh, but I think we, you know, the, the underpinning points are that we need to continue to invest in hydrocarbons uh, as the part of the future. We need to have policy which drives the right renewable sources, the right technologies uh, for the energy transition. And, you know, with those, you know, maybe COP26 helped. For sure, COP27 and COP28 here in Abu Dhabi will be, you know, a great follow-on for, for it. And I was going to say, technology obviously is a huge driver at the moment now and in the future. How is technology helping your business and what are clients' reactions? What are they wanting technology-wise? Well, people want, you know, lower carbon. So, you know, we're looking at electrifying our pipeline. We're looking at things we can do across the LNG plants in Tellurian to reduce carbon emissions. We're looking at our wellhead uh, treatments, our green completions. We're looking at reducing methane emissions, all of the things that we should be doing and need to be doing and are doing. And uh, th that's all part of the, the, the solution. There isn't one silver bullet here. It's lots and lots of different solutions. And uh, it's brilliant to be here back at Adipec live. Nice to be here in person. So how does it feel to be here and um, particularly at this time? Look, it feels great. Timing couldn't have been better after COP. Uh, the weather's great, by the way. Uh, it, look, it's fabulous to be seeing people again. I mean, how, how good it is to be with people. I mean, Zoom is brilliant, teams are brilliant, but you lose that nuance of um, the connection with people and human beings. So I think it's been fabulous, beautifully organized, uh, you know, fantastic to be back.